Honorable President, in these very chambers, just five days ago, you broke Parliament. Please understand, Honorable President, when I use the term honorable, I do it out of respect for the traditions and conventions of this august house. But please don't take it literally. For you, Honorable President, are not an honorable man. You're a broken man presiding of a broken society. Musi Maimane has had a relatively short but turbulent career with the DA. He was widely viewed as a young sharp-toothed politician not afraid to criticize the ANC. The ANC leadership must choose between the president on one end and the ANC and the people of South Africa on the other hand. Maimane emerged as a DA Gauteng Premier candidate in 2014 before being elected party leader on May 10, 2015. He took over the reins from Helen Ziller, who resigned after eight years at the party's helm. Under his leadership, the DA achieved 24.57% of the overall vote during the 2016 local government elections, the highest the party had ever achieved. This result also led to the DA taking control through coalition alliances of the Nelson Mandela Bay, Pretoria and Johannesburg metros. For the first time in the party's history, the DA co-governed two metros in Gauteng. Good. Um, I'm happy today that we've got good turnout, with people coming out to vote. And um, look, we expect a positive result, so it's been an exciting campaign. Yeah, we're working hard here, and our numbers are showing. I think it's positive. I think it's a very good thing. He's had impactful moments. Democrats, I want to say we have a leadership crisis. Our country is burning and our people feel they've got nothing left to lose because that government that sits there cannot lead them. And the ANC can't just sustain the argument that says to them they will always just have South African electorate. We're not desperate to get into government in a way that compromises our ability to govern. He's had scandal-ridden moments. And he's even had some funny moments. broken. 44 out of 10 households don't have a job. Ah, no, no, no. Let me drink this water, you know? Oh! 40% of our households don't have a single income coming into their house. They depend on grants. On remittances. Four out of ten adults in this country don't work. Throughout it all, my money has been clear on his vision for South Africa. We were always clear of this one simple fact that the emancipation of black South Africans is not the enslavement of white South Africans. It's not a zero sum game. It's not an either or. It's that together we can indeed build a South Africa for all. And in the end, we've come to the conclusion that despite my best efforts, perhaps the DA is not the best vehicle which is suited to take forward the vision of building one South Africa.